Okay, guys, um, today we begin our new topic of algebra, and I'm just going to start with a really quick revision for you. Um, these are the four key terms that you really need to understand. Um, expressions, I'm pretty sure we're quite clear on. They're a group of mathematical um, terms containing no equal signs. So a reminder, this is algebra, not equations. With algebra, we're only looking at expressions or kind of a number sentence that doesn't have an equal sign. Uh, the next idea that we need to talk about, and I'm going to use this subject-specific words, are terms. It's a number or a pronumeral within an expression. So 2x, 3, 3xy, these are all terms, okay? Um, now, that 3 that I named in, the, uh, in those list of terms, the 3 without a pronumeral will be called a constant term. Basically, that's something that doesn't change. Now... Depending on the value of x, 3x could change. Because if x was equal to 4, that would be 3 times 4. Or if x is equal to 2, that would be 3 times 2. But if you have a, say, plus 4 in, um, in an expression, that's never going to change. It's constant. So we call that a constant term. And the last word I'm going to use is a coefficient. It's our number placed before the pronumeral. And it basically shows us how many of that pronumeral are present. So in that 3x, the coefficient of x is 3. So now we're going to start using some of this different language in order to explain algebra. Let's just break this one down. I took a screenshot of this because I thought it was helpful. So the coefficient of x here is 3. The coefficient of y is negative 2. The constant term in this expression here is 4. Now, what makes this whole thing an expression? Well, you've got three terms, 3x, negative 2y, and 4. Okay, there is no equal sign, and they're all joined by operations. So, what might you be asked to do in order to prove that you understand this? Well, it's asking you for the number of terms, okay? Um, the number of terms in this expression. Well, we've got 1, 2, 3... Four. We've got four terms. Okay. Now, what's a term? Now, x, y divided by 2 is a term, okay, because they are linked or they're married by division. Just like 4x is a term, we don't count the 4 and the x separately because they are joined together by multiplication. Um, x, y divided by 2 is a term because it is joined together by division. Okay. So, there are four terms. Um, what term's constant? Well, that's got pronumerals in it, so it can't be that term. That's got pronumerals, so it's not that one. That's got a pronumeral, so it's not that one. Negative 2 is your constant term. Um, the last question is, um, what's the coefficient of y squared? Well, how many y squareds do we have? The number that comes directly before the y squared is the coefficient, and it's 3. What's the coefficient of x? Now... This x here is not x by itself, it is x, y, okay? So you're actually looking for this term here, okay? What's the coefficient of x? Well, the coefficient of x is negative 4 because that is what is directly in front of the x, okay? Um, sometimes you may also be asked to write um, an algebraic expression and you have to know how to translate words into operations so more than more than is adding okay and it's saying three more than x it is not three plus x okay it's three more than x okay so what do i start with i start with x and i go three more than be really careful of the order in which you write things it'll particularly become important in this next example for less than 5 times y. Now, less is subtraction. 4 less. 4 goes on the right-hand side because it's 4 less than 5 times y. Now, by default, I'll probably want to do 5 times y. Um, but I'm hoping you guys remember from the last few years that I don't write 5 times y with the multiplication. I simply write 5y. Okay. The sum of c and d. Now, sum. What does sum mean? Okay, that means add. The sum of C and D, so C plus D, is divided by 3. See how it's a matter of just saying it out loud 
and then writing it into um, a number sentence. <coughs> I apologize. Okay, the product. This word product means times. Okay, I'm going to initially write my times down and I'm going to rub it out later. The product of A and the square of B. How do I square B? Okay, A times B squared. The product of A and B squared. Okay, so now I know I don't write it with the times in there. So instead of A times B squared, I just write AB squared. Okay, the last thing that you may be asked to do is to substitute into an expression in order to find the answer. So this one I have um, below, y squared minus 8 divided by x. I've been told that x is 2, y is 3, and z is negative 5. Uh, well, it's not helpful, I don't need z. But anyway, um, 3 squared, so I've just replaced the y there, minus 8 divided by 2. Okay, now you can plug that straight in on your calculator. 8 divided by 2, I know it's 4. I know that 3 squared in my head is 9 minus 4. So I know my answer is going to be 5. They're the other kind of things you can do. Now, I, there, there was more questions attached to this originally, and I've just deleted them. But you may be asked to use negatives. So it's really important if you go to plug something in on your calculator that you write down your working, guys, because if you mess something up, zero marks. If you've got your working, potential for marks.